Here I have my original image. I have an image that's the same pixel size. It's the full resolution image. And then I have also saved a smaller web version. The reason behind doing this is you always want to have your original image to go back to. It's full resolution. It's what you took uh, the original picture at. Then you have a saved version of that. Maybe you've made some changes to the levels or the contrast or the exposure, uh, but it's still the full pixel dimension. It just has some alterations made to it. And then you also want to save a smaller version for the web because these full size versions are too big for the web. I'll show you here an example. If we go to the original image and on my Mac I hit Command I, you can also right click the image and look for the properties panel if you're on a PC, um, you get something that's similar. And what we can do is see what this picture is made up of. First of all, the original picture is three megabytes. It's not too huge. You can email this. But for a website, if you've ever been to a website where they load really slow, this is why. You have these really large pictures that are probably too big for the web. The next thing to look at here is the dimensions, the pixel dimension of this is about 3200 by about 4700 pixels. It's a, it's a big picture and it would be great to print and even to scale down, but for the web it's just too big. If we look at this other file here, I've made some changes to it and I've saved it out. I've lowered the pixel dimension here. Look, it's 2600 by 4000 pixels. It's just a little bit slow, or a little bit smaller than the original here. But notice that the size of this file is only 1.5 megabytes. So by decreasing the pixel size, you can really cut down on the size of your file. And then lastly, this is the version that you're going to be saving for Blackboard. Um, this is about as small as you want to go for the web is a 500 by 750 pixel dimension. Now for Blackboard, uh, we don't want it to get bogged down, we don't want it to go slow, so we go with a smaller pixel size. And also notice now, instead of being one and a half megabytes, it's 500 kilobytes. It's a lot smaller. So the purpose, once again, is for fast loading. You don't need something that's this big of course, you can always load this picture into Blackboard or wherever on whatever website and scale it down, but that's still going to be a three megabyte picture. So we're using Pixlr or Photoshop or Lightroom or any other program uh, to change the size of the picture for us and do a save as version. Over here, in, I have a, 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 a sample folder. You're going to have a folder probably for TMFD 121. Um, you're going to want to have three folders within that. You're going to want to have your originals, which you'll stick your original pictures in. And then you're going to want to make a web version folder. And when you do a file save as with your web versions at 500 to a, say 1,000 pixels maximum, um, you're going to want to save those to there. And then I also have my full res folder, which has this same image as the original just with some alterations done to it. I made it a tiny bit smaller and I adjusted the levels just a little bit. And I put that in there. So the order is originals, take that picture, make some changes to it, save as a full res version, take that image, scale it down, make it smaller, save as again, web versions, and the web versions are what you are going to be submitting to Blackboard for this class. Your full res versions are images that you can print on your own.